uh, transmission lines, they kill a lot. Uh, cell towers, uh, uh, domestic cats kill tens of millions of birds a year. Hunters kill tens of millions of birds. So, you know, you know, I, 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 I'm the, I have a pet. I have pet birds. I like birds. I really do. I, I like birds a lot. But you know, we also have to be concerned about you know the light staying on, and we have to also be concerned about our the human health associated with pollution and, and, and greenhouse gases and global warming and a lot of other issues. So it's a big, a big hard question trying to weigh out the pros and cons of whatever form of energy you have. And you know, I feel very strongly, of course I'm in the wind business, but you know, it's a little, a little bias in a way, but honestly I, I really feel strongly and comfortable that I can look you in the eye and tell you that there are no other forms of energy that are anywhere as benign to our environment as wind energy. And yes, occasionally a bird does get killed by a wind turbine, and we know that, but it's not going to have a biological effect on species at all. It's, you know, if, if you had an extreme case, might be a couple of birds a year per turbine. And bird, you know, birds basically are not as dumb as you might think. If you have a pane glass, they can't see it. They just go bang right into it. But birds can see these wind turbines, and the blades on these huge turbines turn relatively slowly. It's like 25 RPMs. So it's not like a big, you know, the, the perception of like a, you know, a fan that just tears them all up. It's just not that way. Now, do birds in a condition where you have a stormy condition, you have a uh, low, low visibility due to fog conditions, that's when you could have fatality. And, and, and by the way, you do have that same conditions that where birds run into windows and lots of other things. So if, you know, there are conditions that aren't, aren't favorable, but, you know, I, I don't know if there's any other choices. So, you know, when I think about wind energy, it never, uh, we, we don't deplete it like oil and gas. It produces forever. Wind just keeps blowing and blowing and blowing. So it's inexhaustible. And I think that's something as Americans we need to keep in mind. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it is a domestic resource. Uh, you know, we're in the middle of a war, and half of that's over energy security. So America could do a lot better job, and our leadership could do a better job, and I think they're trying to. Uh, in you know really having kind of an Apollo mission in regard to significant increases of renewable energy.